Hi everyone, this is Majid there. Today we'll be using Excel 8 to address a specific integration use case. So the integration we're going to be talking about is between the Azure DevOps and the Jira server. And the particular use case is twofold. So the first requirement is that the epics, features, and tasks on the Azure DevOps site should map to story, task, and bug respectively on the Jira server side. So that's the issue type mapping which would come into the picture here. The second requirement of the use case is that uh, the three level hierarchy maintained between these three work items on the Azure DevOps side needs to be maintained effortlessly on the Jira side. Basically meaning that the user does not need to make any of these relationships and everything gets carried over from one system to the other system automatically. So let's start by looking at how the use case behaves and then we'll take a quick look at how this works behind the scenes. So I've got an Azure DevOps instance out here and I've got a Jira server instance out here. So we'll start the ball rolling with creating an epic. And I'm not gonna do anything fancy with it. I'm just gonna create the epic and let the Xlate automation take over. So what Xlate is going to do is to pick up this issue and try to create an issue on the Jira server side. So if you look at the Xlate panel out here at the bottom, it's already started to work. And once it's synchronized over, it'll provide you a direct link into the Jira server instance. So I'll open the ticket it's created. And sure enough, it's created a story. So the first piece of the puzzle, like an epic maps to a story, is done. Now we'll create a feature which is linked to the epic. And we're expecting that a task is created on the Jira server side linked to the story which is already exhalated over. Right, so let's get going. Uh, so now we're creating a feature. And before I create it, I'm just going to link it. So I'm going to give it a parent link towards uh, the epic which I created earlier to my main epic. And what this will do is create a parent link out here, right? Now let's create this feature. And once this is done, again, Xlate is going to uh, pick this up and send it over to the Jira server side. Now, two things which we will wait for to verify on the Jira server side. One is uh, that it creates a task according to the issue type mapping. And the second is that the hierarchy is maintained. Right, so it's created a task and uh, it's created a link to the main epic. Now the relationship is relates to, remember that piece for later. So the, the link out here in Azure is of a parent type and that map to a relates to relation. I'll explain that in a little bit. If we come to our main epic in Jira and refresh that, that should also include a link now towards the feature. Cool, so let's create, let's finish this three level hierarchy by creating a task in Azure DevOps. And let's link that to my feature. Now the link, you could use any of these links and I'll show you a way of how you can control what happens with these links on the Jira side, but I'm currently creating a duplicate link to my feature which was created earlier and we'll create this task. Now again according to our mapping the task should map as a bug and obviously that link to the, the earlier created task on the Jira side should be maintained. So let's just wait for Xlate to finish its magic and once it does it provides you a link. Let's open that and sure enough we have a bug on the Jira server side. Also the link has come over as duplicated and it's linked to my feature. Now, if I go to my feature, it should have two links now. One would be to the epic and one would be to uh, the task which is just created, which has come over as a bug on the Jira side. Right, let's just talk a little bit about how this has happened. So, in order to do that, from the Azure outgoing side, all you need to do is you need to pass over the parent ID of the work item. Now that just takes into account the parent-child relationship. 
Now, if you have any other relationship like duplicates, cloned by, is blocked by, or whatever that is, you need to make an API call and pick up information related to that particular relationship and then pass that on to the Jira side for processing. On the Jira side, uh, basically there are two pieces to the puzzle. The one is the issue map that you saw in action, whereas where an epic maps to a story, a feature in DevOps maps to a task in Jira, and a task in DevOps maps to a bug in Jira. So that's the first piece of the puzzle. Obviously this is fully customizable and you can add or remove things as you want. After that, once the issue is created, we create the issue link. Now the issue link is where that relationship is maintained. And the thing to customize there would be again, the link type. So remember we had the parent link on the DevOps side and that came over as a relates link to the Jira side. And the other one I showed you was a duplicate which mapped to a duplicate, but yeah, again, this is customizable and you can increase or add entries to it as in where you please. So hopefully this video was useful for you. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.